हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इट्स डॉक्टर जितेन प्रसाद योर इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर एम ई फाइव वन फाइव सो टुडे आई इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गो थ्रू द द डॉक्यूमेंट दैट आई सेंट यू ऑलरेडी सो दिस इज अबाउट द द कोर्स डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके सो आई विल गो थ्रू दैट ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन दैट एंड देन विल गो थ्रू ऑल द टेक्स्ट देर Uh, so uh, what you see here is the document that i uh, shared with you and uh, uh, it has three credits and uh, to start with the name as it suggests uh, finite element methods in engineering okay so remember that uh, uh, this course is designed for mechanical engineers actually Uh, and uh, the example since the, all the examples uh, are taken from mechanical engineering only so uh, like a uh, heat transfer problem or uh, diffusion problem or a structures problem yeah so uh, i can see some students coming from different departments so uh, they should note that okay so although whatever it is can be applied to other kinds of problem also but examples i will be discussing only from mechanical engineering okay now it has uh, three credits okay so three credits uh, means uh, it also has a tutorial yeah so what you see here 131053 what is the meaning of that is there are three lectures per week uh, and uh, one tutorial and what we will call it the live session basically uh there is no practical so no lab here and then uh, you have to give 5 hours per week so this is your ex uh, actually expectations so you have to give at least 5 year 5 uh, hours every week and then uh, this is a total credit 3 okay now uh, okay so uh, the classes uh, are going to be online mode and uh, that really means i am going to record it um, and i am going to post it on youtube and i am going to give you the uh, send you the link uh, through uh, uh, google classroom so as soon as i post one uh, lecture over youtube you will you will get the notification okay and then you can check it okay so th there are three live sessions uh three live sessions basically these are the three options basically okay so uh, we will not be using all of them okay so i will notify you uh, at, there will be at least one every week uh, only if uh, there are uh, many doubts and i could not clear in one class then i will go to the uh, i will then announce the uh, second uh, live session for that week okay otherwise if one uh, live session if the issues are resolved then no need to go to the the second one but we will prefer on monday we will have most likely okay 2 to 2:50 pm okay okay and uh, i will try to record this live session as well and i will uh, put that too on the um, youtube okay okay so Uh, last semester um, uh, while teaching i have used wavex so wavex is uh, being uh, subscribed by it roper so you can uh, well you don't need to actually have any subscription for viewing it okay so this also wavex so if i send you uh, the link you can just click it and it works like uh, google meet as well yeah so we will explore basically so we will look at if uh, wavex works fine uh, there were some issues with recording last semester so i will see whether this kind of issue is still there then probably i will try the google meet and see uh, based on your feedback uh, finally we will choose one of them either wavex or google meet okay okay as far as the the Uh, uh this is concern the uh, textbook uh, uh we are going to follow this the a uh, first course in uh, finite elements uh it's a very good book actually so uh, especially if, if you are learning finite element for the first time okay uh the author is j fish and t 
Belichicko. Um, uh, you may search this online also. Uh, there may be some ebook uh, available, okay? And accordingly, you can. Uh, if that option is there, so you can download it and you can uh, refer to it. Apart from the textbook, uh, you can also refer to these uh, books. Uh, Ready book is really very nice book. Actually, in uh, many universities around the world, this uh, Ready book is followed. Okay, but little bit difficult to understand, uh, and especially this is taught at graduate level. You know, and uh, in fact, uh, it has uh, more the lot more content than actually what you have in this course. Okay. So, hence uh, we have not chosen that as a textbook. However, uh, whatever you study here, if you want to extend to some other kinds of problem, uh, you may refer to this book. All other books are also fine. Okay. Okay. Now, the uh, we are going to uh, talk about the, the content. Okay. So, if you see here, uh, the content I have taken from the, the, uh, the course template for this course. Uh, and uh, there are some modules that we are going to teach. The first is direct uh, approach for discrete system and this uh, uh, what we will uh, start with very soon. I will post uh, a lecture video and I will let you know. Uh, com so, uh, this direct approach is, uh, uh, this is based on the, uh, especially for mechanical engineer, uh, engineering problems. So, basically instead of uh, going uh, uh, through some differential equation. Even if differential equation is not uh, given and if you want to solve a problem, how will you solve it? And this is only possible when you have some problem, a structural problem like a truss problem and so and or a springs system of a springs and all and then from there you are going to solve the problem. Uh, remember that this course uh, is basically the idea is to finally be able to apply uh, write some program and uh, and solve the problem. So, give, uh, once we develop a system of uh, basically the linear equations or the matrix system basically and then uh, we have to uh, solve it and uh, solving although we are not going to uh, actually uh, uh, learn uh, much of programming, uh, but I expect that you know some programming language and uh, uh, and given the theories, you will be able to actually solve some problems and uh, that can be evaluated through the homeworks. Okay. Now, uh, uh, once uh, we have implementation, we will see implementation may not be uh, covered at once, uh, maybe uh, cover some portion of the course and then have one day probably for implementation and then again it is something more and then have more and like that. So, we will see uh, whatever best can work for you accordingly we will go ahead with that. Okay. Now, after that we will uh, switch to the differential equation based uh, uh, the problem formulation okay. and uh, like bar the type problem even trust will may also come as a part of that, but here the idea is to derive first or 1D heat transfer problem, derive the problem, uh, then uh, whatever differential equation you have, you call it a, a strong formulation, then we will uh, do some weak formulation, what is the meaning of that, we will learn all those things. And finally, we will have uh, some uh, uh, assumption for the, for the solution and from there we will derive the metric system and then we are going to solve it, okay, that is what we will do. And uh, that was the third module. Then we have the fourth module. Yeah, fourth module is uh, the 2D. So basically, we are going to work on 2D, but a scalar a field problem, meaning that uh, you have uh, variable which is a scalar. For, for example, heat transfer problem, you have just temperature which is a variable at everywhere, right? So for that, what uh, we will derive first the differential equation, and then accordingly we will do other treatments and finally, we will solve the problem. Then the final uh, module is, uh, is a vector field problem, uh, meaning that uh, the structures problem basically uh, like uh, 
uh, plane stress problem for example or uh, there could be even uh, more uh, like a beam problem. So, uh, uh, we have to do the, again we should have the uh, some derivation of the equations for uh, uh, plane stress problem or beam problem and then we will solve it. We assume a appropriate type of element means discretization and based on that we will derive it. Okay. So, all those things we will do in uh, module 5. Okay. Okay, mass distribution. So, remember the uh, right now uh, since this is going to work in uh, online format there may be some requirement later on and that accordingly we may have to to uh, you know the change the distribution also depending on uh, your performance as well if i see there is some problem then i may have to change a bit you know so if you see here there is no homework assignment like that so if later on if you realize assignment is important probably i will add that too or maybe uh, we do something also uh, what is my mean, uh, what I mean to say is uh, uh, the what you see is uh, the mass distribution like quizzes uh, you have 20 percent or uh, computational uh, homework that I give you uh, that is 10 percent and mid same exam 30 percent and in same exam 40 percent total 100 percent. However, if I see that uh, progress is not good the students are uh, not uh, watching the videos. Uh, uh, like uh, frequently on uh, all those kind of problem if I see then I will have to change the format you know. So, I may have to introduce little bit more or redistribute uh, ok. So, I will see. Uh, so, again it all depends um, uh, on how it goes you know. So, uh, but uh, what you see is uh, that what used to be in the offline mode when I used to teach. Uh, uh, like in classroom then uh, this used to be uh, the distribution ok. So, that th this may be changed just a bit ok. So, we will see how ok. Um, uh, also th there are some notifications sometimes from the academic section uh, saying that the weightage of in semester exam should not be less than this or more than that uh, this kind of things also comes accordingly I will have to comply and this may change. So, bottom line is what you I see uh, uh, what I show you here is uh, is not hard and fast it may change uh, uh, later on ok. Ok, now the gr grading scheme the grading uh, there, will, there will be at least 35 percent marks uh, for uh, passing ok. So, you make sure that you get 35 percent marks ok. Okay, now uh, note uh, these things. Uh, uh, there will be two quizzes and one uh, computational homework, as I commented earlier. And uh, uh, the weightage of each of that will be ten percent. Ten percent of that uh, unfair means uh, are prohibited uh, during the quiz or exam. Yeah, and there should. Uh, not be any plagiarism of any kind in the computational project with respect to the problem chosen, its solution methods, computer uh, programming and the contents of the report. And all uh, institute rules will be followed and uh, strict disciplinary action shall be taken for their violation. So, so uh, whether it is in uh, this is a quiz or a homework or anything. Uh, it is very important that uh, you do not follow any unfair means yeah. So, uh, uh, all homework assignment is supposed to be done by yourself not even a sentence you should copy from anybody. So, remember that or anybody or uh, from online or any material you know it should be your own sentences and everything ok. Okay, so, um, uh, Exams, mid same exams uh, I will take uh, after a chapter after studying chapter 1 to 5 uh, and uh, uh, during the end semester exam you will have questions from coming from all the chapters ok. Ok, now uh, if you were studying uh, in 
uh, offline mode during regular semesters attend there will be attendance requirement of 75 percent you know so uh, but since this is uh, offline uh, online mode uh, here uh, during the lectures I just there is no actually you are the lectures are not live so uh, I'm going to record it record and I put it on uh, YouTube and from there you have to uh, watch it yeah uh, the expectation is you watch it uh, uh, regularly you know otherwise you will lag behind you will not understand the other topics uh, during the live sessions uh, I expect that all of you attend it yeah, and I will monitor basically who all we are present and uh, uh, your uh, attendance should not be should not be less than 75 percent ok. So, uh, um, so make uh, sure you attend all of them by doing that also you will learn a lot of things because I am going to solve some problems right? I will also treat it as a uh, the tutorial uh, uh, session you know and also you can ask any question while watching any video if you could not understand any things then you can tell me and accordingly it will can be done yeah so ok so the estimated uh, time schedule uh, this is what you see here so I am relating it with the uh, textbook chapter so that uh, you can also relate purposefully I have made this uh, as we go uh, we will follow this uh, chapter to chapter only. So, we go chapter wise we are going to follow this book so that you have no confusion. However, sometimes it may be possible that two three chapter we are going together in parallel because uh, sometimes it is convenient um, to do that. So, whatever uh, I think that will help you I will do that ok. So, what you see here the the, the topics basically and uh, the, and how they are related to the your chapter number. So, all those things are given here ok. So, this is all about the, your course ok. So, uh, if you have any confusion uh, regarding what is uh, you said so, coming Monday we will have a live session at 2 o'clock and then we can discuss about it ok, yeah ok.